Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today in this video I will presentation about kinds of reading So let's get started First what is critical reading So critical reading is a form of language analysis that does not take the given text at face value but involves a deeper examination of the claims put forth as well as the supporting points and possible counter arguments among the different types of reading strategies critical reading has a special place here the facts and information are tests for accuracy you take a look at the ideas mentioned and analyze them until you reach a conclusion you will have to apply your critical faculties when using this method uh, critical reading is often used when reading the news on social media, watching controversial advertisement, or reading periodicals. So next, what is kinds of reading? People differ in reading ability. For example, those who have been reading a long time tend to understand what they have read more quickly and more automatically than do new readers. In addition, older readers bring more background experience to their reading. They can use their experience to fill in important information that is not clearly stated in the text. A good reader uses various reading techniques. The techniques depends on the type and difficulty of the materials, the purpose for reading it, and the reader's own language development and familiarity with the subject. Reading can be classified into three main kinds. First, recreational reading, two, study type reading, and three, survey reading. Good readers can easily see from one kind of another depending on their purpose for reading and on the material itself. So next is what is recreational reading? Can provide hour after hour of enjoyment. When reading a story purely for pleasure, most people read at a relaxed and even speed. They may skim through a tale until they come to a scene, a description, or even a phrase that is especially pleasing or satisfying. That portion may be read slowly and the read read to be enjoyed, appreciated, or considered. Next to study type reading, usually requires the readers to pay close attention to the text. A good reader looks to significant ideas and details. The reader then tries to understand how those ideas and details relate to one another and how they fit into the general topic. Reading speed tends to be slower the first time study type material is read and the reader may need to reread portions of the text to understand it fully. Reading speed may be much faster when the material is reviewed. Next to the survey reading, involves covering a large amount of text to get a general idea of its content in such case. The person may first skim the material to understand the main point. The reader may then look for details that reinforce or illustrate that point. The person may then read some section carefully to make sure that the desired information has been found. So next is shifting among kinds of reading. Most people use different reading techniques for different reading situations. For example, a mystery enjoyed simply for entertainment may be read rapidly. But a classic Russian novel may call for slow, carefully reading. Technical texts that call leads to job advancement or that tell how to fix something usually require thoughtful reading. So next is extensive reading. Extensive reading is one of the methods of reading that people use for relaxation and pleasure. Adopt this method when the purpose is to enjoy the reading experience. It places no burden upon the reader and due to its indulgement nat nature. It is seldom used in the text isn't enjoyable. 
This is one of the methods of reading that occurs naturally. It is how you read as a child and while growing up. This method of reading helps you understand words in context and increases your vocabulary. Next is intensive reading. Among the different types of reading skills, intensive reading is used when you want to read carefully by paying complete attention to understand every word of the text. It is where you will examine and decipher each unfamiliar word or expression. As the time states, intensive means in depth. This reading method is especially used when reading academic texts where the goal is to prepare for an exam or to publish a report. This method helps re retain information for much longer periods. Next is scanning. Scanning is imagine if you went to the Louvre Museum only to see the Mona Lisa. You quickly walk through all the corridors and room merrily glancing at the walls until you found it. Scanning is quite similar to that. It is one of the two kinds of reading where you read to search for a particular piece of information. Your eyes quickly skim over the sentence until you find it. You can use the method when you don't need to go deep into the text and read every word carefully. Scanning involves rapid reading and is often used by researchers and for writing reviews. Next is skimming. Through this method, you try to be understand the text in short. Took one saves a lot of time through this method, one will gain only a shallow understanding of the text. Skimming is a great way to get a broad idea of the topic being discussed. This method is generally used to judge whether the information is useful or not. A good example of this is picking up a magazine and flipping through the page. You take in only the headings or the picture to get a broad idea of what the magazine covers. So, in the conclusion of kinds of reading is various types of reading lead to different outcomes. Choosing the right one can be instrumental in furthering your goals. Further diversifying your reading habits to include different types of reading will enable you to become a better writer and speaker. Improving your communication skills will enable you to convey your ideas with precision and clarity. It is not always easy to get your point across. But, reading gives you the power to understand multiple perspectives. Building a reading habit can be effective in the short and long run. So, thank you for watching my video and I'm sorry if I mistake for my pronunciation or my material. So, I hope you enjoyed my video and see you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.